Hey guys, it's Callie. Today I'm going to show you how I made these really cool shrunken apple head dolls. Um, they're super simple, real cheap to make, and the possibilities for decoration are endless. So you can hang them on your Halloween tree or just keep them around the house for decoration. Um, the possibilities are endless. So if you're interested in checking out how I did this, stick around and I'll show you how I did it. Okay guys, I'm going to show you what supplies we're going to be using for our project today. First of all, you're going to need some apples. Doesn't matter which kind, any kind of fresh apples. And we're going to be peeling these. You're going to need some uh, lemons for fresh lemon juice. And we're going to use some salt. And you can use any kind of salt. This is just what I happen to have on hand. You'll need some, I'm going to use a lemon juicer as well as a measuring cup. We're going to be needing one cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice and one tablespoon of salt. We're going to mix the salt with the lemon juice. I have a bowl for the salt and lemon juice. I have an apple core uh, peeler. Some skewers to put the apples on while we're carving them or after we're carving them and then I just have an assortment of carving tools you can use any kind of carving tools you like you can even use a plain old paring knife that's fine and you can either just carve from the top of your head or if you like uh, I'm gonna take a pencil and just lightly sketch out where I want to carve. So I'm going to peel the apples and mix up one cup of lemon juice with one tablespoon of salt and I will see you back here when that is done. Okay guys, I've got my apple peeled. I've just left a little bit at the top here and I juiced, uh, this was about three lemons to make one cup and I added one tablespoon of the salt we're just going to set that aside for now and don't throw your peels away um, you can either eat them or I like to put them in a pot on the stove with some water and clove and cinnamon and maybe some orange peels also and just kind of let that simmer uh, check it so it doesn't dry out um, but it'll make your whole house smell amazing so the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to take the pencil and you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to lightly sketch out where I want to carve. So we're going to have the eyes be about here. And these will change and wrinkle in ways that you never even imagined, but this is just kind of a bit of a guideline. Uh, this will be my nose up through here and got some paper towel on here from when I patted them dry. There's our mouth and I will carve in some cheekbones over here. Um, there's an ear. I hope you guys are seeing this okay. Here's another cheekbone. And yeah. These things look so cool and I've had one uh, sitting on my bookshelf all year since last year that I made and uh, decided that she needed some company. So once you've got that, um, you know, etched out, I'm just going to go in with, you know, some of these little carving tools here. And we're just going to carve away. And again, you don't have to get too exact with this. Whoa. And then we have flying apples. 
You don't have to get too exact with it. Um, I am going to go in with some smaller tools here because that's, you know, for me, the fun of it is uh, seeing what develops out of it. But so you can just go in and cut away some bits. And for my eyes, once they start to wrinkle up, and I'll add some wrinkles here, which, trust me, is not really even necessary, but I'll put some black beads in them, as well as you can add teeth with, by using, um, well, you could do little white beads, or you could use the uh, tines of a plastic fork. Um, so you can really embellish these, let your imagination go wild. Um, they're really a lot of fun. I can remember my father's, my, he's my stepfather, but he's my father. His mother, um, made dolls and she would make apple dolls. And I think that's the first time I ever saw it being done. So, uh, there are people who've been doing this for years, and they're just so beautiful. So, we're going to cut away, and this is what's going to become a neck. So, I'm just kind of working that out. Uh... And you just have to let these sit out. And you could speed the process along if you want by using a food dehydrator. Um, or even, I imagine you could put them in a really low temperature oven. Um, but I like to do it naturally, even though it takes some time. Each one of these is unique. And, uh, you could have a whole collection. <laughs> I am going to open up that mouth a little bit. I have a, where's that knife? Sometimes you just want to, I'm going to make it a little deeper uh, than I normally would. And I'm also going to cut some little holes here for where I'll be putting those beads and I'll wait until they're dried up a little bit before inserting them and you can decorate with hair or costumes really anything that you would do with any kind of a doll you know once you have your face here so please be careful um, don't cut your fingers off. So, once you have, you know, your rough carving done, um, it's kind of looking like E.T. a little bit here. We're going to take it and we are going to put it in the lemon juice bath. And I'm just going to make a little nostril here. And we're going to spoon that salt lemon mixture over the apple head. And then we're going to put the skewer in the bottom. <laughs> and as you could tell, I am not a professional carver. Uh, and I, I don't have a lot of uh, experience doing these, but I have done them before. And I am sure I will do them again. But, yeah, so my point is I encourage you to check out other artists um, and just see how they do it. So, all right, before I um, take away too much here, I am going to... 
because this will become the neck. And then I just wanted to do a little bit of uh, an ear here. An ear here. And this one. If you guys decide to do this, tag me and show me what you've come up with. Okay, I'm going to call this one done just for the sake of the video. And we are going to just, I told you I mixed one tablespoon of salt with a cup of lemon juice. And we're just pouring it over. This will help prevent mold. It will uh, draw out the moisture in the apple as well to help speed the drying time. So I am going to insert a skewer now. And I also have some, um, I brought out, I showed you these before, but then I brought out these chopsticks, which I have as well. And I think I'm going to use the chopstick. They're a little bit sturdier, but we're just going to insert it in the bottom. Okay, like this. And then I have a, um, a mason jar, and I'm just going to let it sit in here and dry. You can string them up to dry. Um, you know, just leave them undisturbed. And again, patience is key. These can take, you know, weeks, months. They get, you know, better and better as time goes by. But I'm going to set this guy aside, and uh, we'll see what we get tomorrow. Okay guys, I'm back and here we are and it's actually been about a week and a half. I let this sit out and you can really see the face is starting to change. Kind of looks like a cat, doesn't it? So I just want to show you an example of what you could do for the next step. Um, I like to, again, I talk like I've done this a lot. I haven't, but I just have some, um, excuse my Hulk Band-Aid here. I have some black beads, and I'm just going to press them right into the eyes. Now, I'll show you one that I did last year, and I never used glue or anything. I just put the beads in, and it continued to shrink around it. So, if you want, you could use some tacky glue, I guess. Uh, wouldn't hurt, but we're just going to look at that. And this is very uh, moldable. You can kind of play with it a little bit and almost use it like clay, you know. There's the mouth. Now, if you want to do teeth, the one that I did last year, I used the tines of a, a white plastic fork. But I didn't have that. So you could either use uh, a toothpick and just break off little pieces if you wanted and you know insert them almost like a you know a vampire tooth you could also do the same if you wanted to do whiskers or horns um, again like I said I broke off the tines of the bottom of a fork and just glued them in or I have these little white beads and you could put those in kinda like teeth and you know, my old people here only have one or two teeth anymore. So there's one. And this is just to show you guys. You can do anything you want. You know, let your imagination be your guide. You can embellish them however you want. Uh, he's kind of cute, right? For hair, I don't have any real, you know, doll hair. But uh, I've used uh, cotton balls in the past. And you could just take some tacky glue and... Glue some cotton on top there, or, you know, put a hat on if you want. Uh, the one I'm going to show you that I did last year is this one. And she's had a long time to dry out, obviously. Let, her, let you see her face a little better. And you can see what I mean about the tines of the fork. I just chipped off two little pieces of the bottom of the fork, and I... I did glue those in. She has black beads as well. And I just made her hat out of felt and the dress out of some scraps. 
and she has a chapstick uh, yeah chopstick body as well all I did for the body like with this guy um, you could do it with wire if you wanted or again I don't have a lot of practice making dolls for so for those of you who do you'll know better than I but I've just taken you know another chopstick and then taken some twine and just kinda you know crossed around and tied it and tied it and tied it to make arms you know and then you can shorten them and then I just use fabric on top of that almost like a puppet so I really really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial I have really enjoyed making these again I like to do them every I'm gonna do them every year I'll do a different different face every year so um, I hope you have fun making them too and if you do let me see what you've come up with if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you have not yet subscribed I would love it if you do I hope you're having a wonderful day I'll talk to you guys very very soon take care Bye -bye.